If you love life, don't ever let it waste, y'all. That's why you gotta make love, make peace, make noise, make art. Let me get a soul clap. Can I get a soul clap? Let me get a soul clap. Can I get a soul clap? Soul clap for me. Video so I'm doing upcoming freshmen, everything you need to know about freshman year and things I wish I knew before going. Well, actually, I was watching all types of videos on YouTube, so I was already like, I knew everything. Like, I was like, okay, this and that, and plus, I knew everybody, so my freshman year wasn't gonna be that all right. So it was pretty lit. Have your teachers remind one on one back in middle school. I did not have remind one on one. It's where you, um, where the teachers send out things. This helped me a lot. Cause I remember um, back in middle school, I did not freaking use, I didn't even look at nothing the teacher sent. I would just literally do work and go. But this year, freshman year, it helped me. Like they sent out cheat sheets. Children that didn't have it, they didn't get like the cheat sheets and stuff. It was easy, like easy for you, you know? The reminder one ones, they helped you and everything. Like it was so easy, so you need to have it for my one on one. That's the first thing, like it helped a lot. And two, don't take a class you don't like because your friends are in it. Do not take a class because all your friends are in it. And a lot of um children I know they um did this, like oh, all my friends are in cosmetology, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, all my friends are in construction. Oh, I'm gonna do that and they don't even like it. Don't do something that you don't like because you just gonna have a boring uh, year and you have three years to have, you have to have three years of that class. I have construction and um, what's that called, mechanic. I know what I like doing so I know when I choose that I'm gonna like it. But if it's the teacher, I have mechanic, the teacher did not teach us at all. We, I would literally sit here like this I used to all y'all seen in my public interviews. I used to always say something bad about that class. I would be like, "Oh, today we did this and that. We didn't do. I don't like that class. So do not take a class you do not like, cause yeah, it's not gonna be um worth it at all. You're just gonna be wasting your time being in the class, cause all your friends in it. You don't even like it. It's okay to change your classes if they are already started. So if you you know when you go in school on the first day. The classes you chose, this actually goes with number two. Just because um, you already started like the whole week, change that class if you don't like it. Because you're just gonna be sitting there doing something you do not like. You're gonna be upset the whole year, not liking to do it, you know? So change your class, go up to the office, and go tell them about it. Yeah, go tell them uh, about it and get your classes changed. Number four, join programs that actually help. Join programs, they really, they help. Like, um, I'm in Upward Bound. It's like all those college videos y'all see, I'm in that program. We go travel to all colleges. We just like, see like, um, tour colleges and how they look, you know? And uh, go on trips. Y'all, programs, you need to join programs. You meet new people, you, you do, you find, um, find a new you, like, um, you didn't know you liked that, and you you yeah, find new you. So join programs; they help. Number five: try, uh, try not to get peer pressure. Number five: this is really important. I feel like people were trying to peer pressure me this whole year. Where of course you're gonna get peer pressure, but it's like, are you dumb enough to follow into it? Don't be a follower. Um, most of my friends smoke. Literally, most of them. You're not gonna get me. I'm never gonna. You never gonna catch me smoking or drinking. That's important. Peer being peer pressure to um, have children and stuff like that because your other friends are doing. It's, it's gonna get real. I say stay away from seniors. This, oh my gosh, I see it literally. I see it every day in school. They have freshmen that I grew up with. All up on the seniors. Oh, he's so fine. This and that, and the girl, and the dudes too. Oh, she's so fine. This and that. <laughs> Thinking they gonna last. Like they really like them. They graduate. They don't talk anymore. It's 
sometimes they sleep with them and that's that's all they wanted them for literally like they don't like you for real they, they don't want you 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 a freshman they gonna be in college gone doing being it doing their life you know <laughs> yeah so yeah stay away from seniors literally number seven don't use bathrooms when people are around why I say this because they do record and they do look over the stalls. I don't know, people are weird. Boys and girls do not use the bathroom when people are around or in there or crowded. Like if you got a tinkle or something, go in there and do that, but don't use the bathroom. I clearly, I used to always go in there, but that being there, either jeweling, um, you know, smoking or something, it's high school. It's every high school, they're not gonna get caught. People get caught. Um, but yeah, it's sort of thing. Um, I just be like, okay, do you? But yeah, do not. You know, don't use the bathroom. People around, they will look over the stall. They will bang and be like, who in there? Who in there? It's the real thing. <laughs> For real. Um, number eight, keep good hygiene. What's embarrassing is when you come to school and you stink. That's that's not cute. It's not handsome. Don't come to school stinky. Like middle school, I think a lot of um, middle school, like before they came to uh, high school, they learned that. It was like, okay, I gotta be my new self. I can't do all that middle school stuff I was doing because it's a high school. They would talk about you. First thing you come in stinky, they gonna know you as that stinky kid for the rest of your your life, really. Because when you leave, I was, oh, that's, um, I used to go to school with them. They was always, they used to, you know, like, don't, you know, don't do that. It's embarrassing. Number nine, I should put this for number one, memorize your schedule. You do not want to come in looking like a freshman. Oh, it's going to be funny because I'm, um, I'm going to 10th grade and we're going to see freshmen doing that because it's going to be like, Look at the new kids, like we gonna know, we gonna be like the big dogs, like over them. Like, you're a freshman, like they gonna be looking up to us. But yes, do not come, don't come up in the school with your oh, where's my class? Hey, for I remember, um, uh, the first day of sixth grade. I mean, sixth grade, I did that. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. Like, all of the um, math writers looking, it's just it was just crazy. But yes, do not come to school looking like that. Take a picture of it, look at your phone. I always did that. But I usually got um the hang of my classes because I went to the um open house. So I always looked at my class and I went to each class so I already knew which class to go to. I got a good memory. Number 10, do your schoolwork. This, I can't believe I'm, I'm saying this because in middle school I did not do nothing and I had great grades. Do your work, do it in school. Some people, they say do it at home because they can't concentrate. Me, I can concentrate and work as long as I have music. I have to have music in my uh, ears. Get done with your work first because then you have other stuff you can finish from your classes. I used to always do that. Um, used to always get done with my work. The teacher gave to us and uh, um, I would go do my other work that I have for my other classes. So, yes, get finished with your work and do it at um, school. You can do it at home too. Cause I go straight to sleep, but yes, do your work in school. Eleven, become friends with your teachers. Like, be your teacher's pet. I'm literally like, when they see me, it's like I don't know. The teachers automatically like me. I'm just a likable person. Of course, I get the friends as well. <laughs> yes, I'm likable to so our teachers. Like our teachers see me, they like, hey, hi, hey, like they just love me. Um, cause. When you're friends with your teacher, the teacher's pet, they love you. Like, if you, your grades are dropping, they they going to pick it up, like, some way. Like, they're going to drop something on the low. Like, oh, we're not going to um, let them not do this. You know, like, they're just going to do it because you're, you're the, they just love you, you know. Um, you're likable to them. Um, 12, keep your grades up. I think this goes with um, 10, doing your work. I'm telling you, I almost slipped right off the edge and freaking losing it all. Well, no, not really. 
but yeah, yeah, I was dead. We just I have straight A's right now, so um, just keep your grades up. Oh my gosh, I know a lot of uh, people that um, almost I remember. Oh my gosh, this was so funny. Funny, I mean, what was that? Um, it's like when you um went to school. I was like, I was in a uh, math class. And I was about to start crying. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta take winter school. And she's like, you passed. I was like, oh. Because it said something to 60 something. It was a math, and that test was so freaking hard. I thought I was about to have to take winter school. But yes, I passed. Um, yes, that's why I say keep it crazy. You do not want to take winter school. I don't know how it is, but you have to come like every day after school and do a hell of work and finish it. So keep your grades up. This is no playing. Freshman year, I don't know why some children like to play and go think it's it's their time of their life. Freshman, no, you you do that senior year. This is time to work hard and keep your GPA up. Um, yes, and get your credits. Thirteen, become friends with everybody. I say this because just be friends, cause you're gonna know people and know connections. You're gonna know people. Like if you need help with your work, you're gonna have that friend, you know. Me, I'm actually cool with literally everybody in my school. Literally everybody. Everybody knows me from like middle school. Probably their cousins, their siblings. Everybody knows me. Literally. Especially me doing YouTube, all that. Everybody knows me and my style. You know? So be friends with everybody. Um, even if you're not social and you're shy, get to know everybody. Like that's why I said join programs. You want to know everybody because it's gonna you're gonna go ooh like high school gonna be lit for you. Just know everybody and um, having those people to help you with things like me. A lot of uh, people they help me like when um, I was coming to freshman. I was like, you know anything about this teacher? Oh yeah, they, they easy. Oh, they hard. Um, like they just giving you the tips to what to do in that classroom. Oh, don't don't sleep in this class. They gonna do this and that. You know, so not everybody. Fourteen. Be that good kid. Everybody knows because once you're known as the bad kid and the messy one, they're not gonna mess with you. So like when I came in my freshman year, literally everybody knew me. They was just staring at me. They knew me from. Their siblings, their cousin, like I said, know everybody. And um, I was just known as that YouTuber. I was really social, like, I talked to everybody. I was always doing public interviews every day, talking to the seniors, juniors, sophomores. I'm just a little like that. Um, yes, and I had a good look. People see me, oh, that's the rich, that's the rich um, boy right there. Oh, that's the, um, you just, you. You want to have that good look on you. You don't want to be known as the messy person, always arguing with teachers, always feeling words go around. And it's high school words go around. You don't want to be known as that because when you get out of high school, you still gonna be known as that. You know, like they see you and they, oh, I went to school. Like I said, and when the other questions, just like everything runs with you all your life. So be known as that good kid. 15, don't be the school thought and think because the other class that likes you. Good job, talk. This, I said this, don't talk to sing, um, singers. Oh my gosh. Being the school thought, that's so embarrassing. Especially, like, um, it's a lot of them. Because once you, um, you enter and you, you're known as that school thought, it's like, oh, they like everybody. Oh, you can get with her real quick, you know, and stuff like that. Just don't be known as the school thought. It's just really embarrassing. You're just embarrassing your parents. That's not cute. And, um, yeah, it's not a good look. Teachers that are dating, teachers do be messy. The words do be getting around to everybody. Everybody. 16, don't trust nobody in high school. What I mean, the school, the school. Me, I always say, like, well, once I entered um, elementary, ever since that, I was always taught not to trust nobody, don't tell nobody my business. Even if you think you know my business, you don't know my business. 
Like for real, literally. Like, um, do not tell nobody your business in high school. Don't tell nobody who you're talking to, texting. Don't do that because once you tell somebody it's going to get out, literally, it's going to get out. People is fake these days. People just, like, I seen, um, no, what I heard from a lot of people, they stopped being friends with, um, people that came, that was, in, that was friends with, like, in elementary and middle school. But me, I still have my same friends. Um, literally, I still have the same best friend. not something you want to do trust people especially in high school it's a big school Ooh, once it gets out it's out there and it's not taking it back you get exposed it's out there but they're gonna forget about it eventually but you know you just don't want that being in your past you know so don't trust nobody which you don't trust nobody 18 i think this is like number one right when you walk in be confident. People is like, when you get um, in high school, people are going to try to start drama with you. People are going to look you up and down. And yeah, they're going to have a problem with you. Because you're pretty. Yeah, for the girls, yeah, because you're pretty and they just hate it. You know, so be confident because a lot of, um, when you are in middle school, you come in, you like, you was probably that, that child that was really, had low self-esteem, that always talked down about their self, just didn't like their self, you know? When you come in, come in high school, they're going to look at you like, oh, we can pick with her, we can fight her, because she's not going to do anything. You're just going to be known as the scary, the scary child that nobody likes. I mean that nobody messes with because you like, I don't know. Now, actually, you'll find some clicks and stuff that you can click with, but y'all, you, you'll find some people that you're like, that's like you, I mean. So, um, but still keep that in mind, like, just be confident. Like, look good every day, even though if you can't really afford it, just keep yourself up, like, cause you, have that good look on you. Like, just keep yourself up. This is how school people are gonna talk, judge, and do all that. But it's life. This is high school. So be confident. Do not try to fit in. Do not try to fit in. Because once you try to fit in, people are gonna notice it. Like, from middle school, like the uh, children you grew up with, and they're gonna be like, they're gonna see you changing and being somebody else. Don't be somebody else that you're not. Like, if you're trying to um, kick it with the cool kids, they're not cool. They're not going to be known as cool. Like, yeah, once you're in high school, they're not going to be known as cool. So, don't, don't try to fit in with the cool kids. And, um, yeah. Yeah, just don't. Um, stay to yourself. Because, ooh, high school. You're gonna be in there in their drama, you know. So number 20, do not skip classes because you you will get called and um yes a lot of children got called this year. Like if you skip in the smoke, do all types of stuff, just don't do it because that's gonna be on your record. It's not gonna be a good look, especially when you go to college and look at everything you've been doing. Um I think it's on your record. I don't Don't skip. Um, yeah, so I want to just make this video. I'm about to go edit it. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Hope y'all like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace from small. If you love life, don't ever let it waste, y'all. That's why you gotta make love, make peace, make noise, make art. Let me get a soul clap. Can I get a soul clap? Let me get a soul clap. Can I get a soul clap? Soul clap for me.